things like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. All these people want to know. Parkland, San Diego, Thunderbird. This is Jennifer Tsai. She lived in Taipei, Taiwan for two years, and she speaks Mandarin. She has 765 stickers in her sticker collection. This is Michael Chamberlain. He runs track and plays football, basketball, and soccer. He likes visiting historic areas and snorkeling in Anguilla, where his relatives live. This is Kirsten Wisniewski. She plays basketball, softball, and soccer. She likes skiing in Vermont, playing the piano, and hanging out with her friends. And this despicable duo is Double Trouble, Carmen's pathetic pair of pathological pirates. Double Trouble, Double. Their last known whereabouts? Boston, Massachusetts. Fenway Park, home of the Boston Red Sox, was built in 1912. To see the great Ted Williams, Carl Yastrzemski, or Roger Clemens at this classic neighborhood ballpark, oh, what a way to spend a summer night. And that green monster, Try catching a ball that bounces off a 37-foot wall. Ah, Bostonians are proud of Fenway. They fill it for almost every game. Or they did until today, when Double Trouble, Carmen's brazen, burgling backstop stole not just the bases, but the whole stadium. You've got to stop them gumshoes. Crunch Carmen and foil <laughs> the backless felons of Fenway. <laughs> And here's the senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Hi, guys. Thank you very much. Hi, Jennifer. Hey, Michael. Kirsten, nice to see you. Thanks a lot. Listen, I just want to remind you guys, if one of you catches Carmen San Diego today, you're going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks, and uh, you guys know how this game is played, right? Okay, so we won't mess with the rules. Just let me get through some of this uh, mail I have here. I'm waiting for some pictures to come. Oh, here they are. My pictures are back. Yeah, I, last week I, I took a whole roll from the uh, Hamster Enthusiast Convention, and wait a minute, these are not my pictures. As a matter of fact, they're not even, this isn't even addressed to me. It's addressed to Double Trouble. Oh, this is amazing. So, obviously, the picture company must have mixed up my package with theirs. And this is a very handy mistake. Take a look at this, you guys. Let's see, that looks like it's uh, Lake Ontario, right? This is a camera factory, right? And this is a reproduction of an old magazine ad from around 1910. Now, the twins must have taken these in the city on Lake Ontario, where George Eastman lived. He invented one of the first easy-to-use cameras in his mother's kitchen. He started the Eastman Kodak Company and popularized amateur photography around the world. Now, the company employs thousands of people in the city. Matter of fact, I used to invent some things in my mother's uh, kitchen, too. Most notably, the fried jelly bean sandwich, but that's another story. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Erie, Chicago, or Rochester? Remember the clues that we heard. City on Lake Ontario and home of Eastman Kodak. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. Trying to find Double Trouble and Fenway Park. Kirsten is ready. So is Jennifer. And Michael is ready too. Jennifer, what do you say? I said Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. Michael. I said Rochester, New York. Same thing. Kirsten. I said Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. The answer we're looking for is Rochester, New York. Nice job, Jennifer and Michael. As you know, we give you 10 crime bucks every time you answer a question correctly. So that means, Jennifer, you have 60, Michael, 60, Kirsten, you're still right in there with 50 crime bucks. Nothing to worry about. For our next Greg, something's coming through the fax. Let's see oh, what yeah. it is. Well, gee, Chief, it's a molar bear. Well, well, look, there's a tag. Ah, double trouble are in a Canadian town known as the polar bear capital of the world. Every fall, bears wander through town heading to the Hudson Bay. Go to northeastern Manitoba and bring a parka or two. The place can be almost as cold as the North Pole. Well, obviously, this molar bear was supposed to be a polar bear. But the machine garbled it. Now, <clears throat> what on earth can I do with this? 
floss it each and every day to keep that nasty plaque away. You know that one, Chief? No? You guys know that one? No? Okay, cool. Never mind. Uh, name the town, if you will, please, guys. Is it Churchill, Fort Albany, or, or Inukjuk? Remember the uh, clues that we heard? Polar bear capital of the world, located in northeastern Manitoba near Hudson Bay, an extremely cold climate. Jennifer is already ready. Kirsten is too. Michael's still thinking about it. Now he's ready. Jennifer, what do you think? I said Churchill. Churchill. Michael, what do you think? Inukjuk. Uh, Inukjuk. What do you think, Kirsten? Inukjuk. Inukjuk. The answer we're looking for is Churchill. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Okay, so that means Jennifer, you have 70, Michael has 60, Kirsten, 50 crime bucks. Yeah. I need to see your cards for a sec. Oh, sure. What's yeah, that? Yeah, there's a mistake. Do you want to take a break while I fix them? Oh, yeah, thanks. Okay. Cool. A break? Sure, I could use a break. Maybe I'll just poke around back here for a clue. Aha! Uh -huh. A Viking. Perchance the boys are in Southern Ireland, in an important harbor that's the country's second largest city. Now, how did he get that from a Viking costume? Wouldn't, like, a leprechaun be more appropriate? Well, you see, Pinch, Vikings sailed up Ireland's rivers in the 800s, and they established lots of cities, including this one. Ah, gotcha. Hey, you better get back to work. Here are your cards. Thanks. <laughs> I guess we're just on the same wavelength. Okay, gumshoes, name the city, if you will. Please, is it... Galway, Cork, or Sligo? Remember the clues that we heard. Ireland's second largest city, important shipping harbor in southern Ireland, and established by Vikings. Jennifer, you're very fast. You're already ready. Kirsten and Michael, now ready at the same time. Very nice. Jennifer, what do you think? I said Cork. Cork. Michael, what do you say? I said Cork. Cork. Kirsten? I said Sligo. Sligo. The answer we're looking for is Cork. Nice job, Jennifer and Michael. So that means Jennifer up to 80, Michael 70, Kirsten 50 crime bucks. Okay, now guys, for our next clue. You guys know what that means? It's time for the lightning round. These questions are all about Double Trouble's most recent known whereabouts, which is Cork, Ireland. For every correct answer, we give you five crime bucks. So, hands on the buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Cork City was home to an automobile factory that closed recently. The car maker's ancestors originally came from County Cork. Name the car maker's family. Iacocca, Ford, or Ferrari? Uh, Jennifer. Ferrari? Sorry, it's not Ferrari. Michael or Kirsten? Michael? Iacocco? Uh, it's not Iacocco, no. Kirsten? Ford? Ford is right. Nice job. How'd you do? Very nice job. You kind of land back. Okay, you're up to 55. You're on your way now. Question two. Many streets in Cork City were built on top of waterways. In fact, the name Cork comes from the Irish word Corky. What does Corky mean? Marsh? Marshmallow or Malamars? Michael. Marsh. Is right. Nice job, Mike. Five for you. Last question. Here we go. In County Cork, according to Irish lore, Sir Walter Raleigh planted the first of these in his garden. Did he plant a potato, an Irish rose, or a shamrock? Jennifer. A shamrock? Sorry, it's not a shamrock. Michael. Irish rose? No, sorry, that's not the answer either. Kirsten, it's a potato, an Irish rose, or a shamrock. A Kirsten potato? is right. <laughs> nice job. You're amazing at those. <laughs> Thanks up to 60. Jennifer, you have 80. Michael, 75 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Now, Greg, for... come into my office. Oh, sure. Chief, I'll be right there. You guys just excuse me one moment. We've got a lot of things going on today. I'll, I'll be right back. Hang tight. What's up, Chief? Greg, I can't find the Acme Field Agents tracking folders. You know where they are? Oh, yeah. I put them down in the basement. What basement? I didn't know we had a basement. Sure we have a basement. It's downstairs. What? I know it's downstairs. You said you didn't know we had a basement. I was... You know what I mean. Okay. Now, could you get them for me, please? I'd be glad to. Just okay. hold on a second. I want to check the uh, light on this thing, too, because it wasn't... Whoa! Oh! 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 Oh, here they are, right here. Oh. The light's not working, by the way. Oh, Greg. Oh. It's dark. Well, Greg. Yeah. There's only one sheet of paper in here, and it says, Note to viewers, every time you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where. When you've collected four loots and locations, write them down on a postcard with your name and address, and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. 
every day. We'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a common T-shirt. Here's who won today. Congratulations to the winner. Uh, uh, Greg, yeah, this is great information, but yeah. the tracking folders... Oh, right. Uh, uh, be careful. I will. You know, it's so dark down here, Chief. Sometimes you have to really watch your step. But I've got my really nifty filing system, and I think most people would be very proud. Greg? Hiya, Chief. Oh, I knew there was no basement. Here we are in the middle of an investigation, and instead of getting the files I need, you're wasting time with juvenile trickery. Now stand up, mister, and get out of here. Here are your files. Remember, we're still looking for Double Trouble and Fenway Park. Fortunately for us, though, at Beam Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Double Trouble and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Hey, Carmen, this baseball is fun. Double headers, long summer nights, hot dogs. Well, you're headed for the winter leagues. Go to a Russian port city on the White Sea. Nothing like winter baseball, boss lady. A slight chill in the air and... No, boys. This city gets serious winter. Sometimes the harbor freezes for seven months, and they keep it open with special ice-breaking ships. The sky stays dark for months, so make sure the ballpark lights are working. Geez, Carmen, you think we could put fake fur seats in Fenway? Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Archangel, Helsinki, or St. Petersburg? Remember the clues that we heard. Russian port city on the White Sea and long, severe winters. You guys are very fast. Jennifer and Kirsten already ready. Michael's still looking it over and ready now. Jennifer, what do you say? I said Archangel. Archangel, Michael. I said St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. Kirsten. Archangel. Archangel. The answer we're looking for is Archangel. Nice job, ladies. So that means, Jennifer, you have 90, Michael 75, Kirsten 70 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Next. Sounds like we have another musical interlude. Hold on a second. Just let me get this. Oh, a double trouble on the run. They stole that Fenway Park. They ran the South Pacific with the lots and lots of sharks. And I didn't group that's named after a captain of the sea. The speed will speak the language they, they call him Maori. Oh, baby, keep that one more chance. Oh, won't you please make them criminal toast? Oh, darling, there's no time to hang around. Won't got no excuse anymore. Yes, I do now. Go in the back. Go in the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go in the back. No, 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 no. Go in the back. Could you give me my hand? Thank you very much. Right over there. It's rock. Rock a pal, everybody. Okay, guys, name the islands, if you will, please. Is it Cook Islands, Marshall Islands, or Hawaii? And the clues that we heard, South Pacific, named after a sea captain, and islanders speak Maori. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Jennifer is ready, so is Kirsten, so is Michael. Jennifer, what do you say? I said the Cook Islands. Cook Islands, Michael. I said the Cook Islands. Cook Islands, Kirsten. I said the Cook Islands. Cook Islands, the answer we're looking for is Cook Islands. Nice job, everybody. So that means, Jennifer, you have 100, Michael has 85, Kirsten 80 crime books. Now we received word that Double Trouble have left Cook Islands, so let's pick up the cheese. <laughs> the cheese. <laughs> Several bits wrapped in one and used as a chase thing. All these worth five crime books. Hands on your buzzers. Watch this. Listen here. Here we go. Double Trouble flew Fenway to the capital of New Zealand. Name it, Michael. Wellington. Wellington is right. They zoomed north from New Zealand to New Caledonia. What imaginary boundary did they cross? Michael. Tropic of Cap Capricorn. Is right. Double Trouble took a catamaran to the capital city of Suva. What island group are they in? Jennifer. Fiji. Is right. Next, they hightailed it off of Fiji and on to Guadalcanal. Name the island group they're in. Michael. Um, Falkland? Sorry, it's Solomon Islands. 
Double Trouble hustled Fenway to Papua New Guinea. What island are they on now? Michael. New Guinea? Is right. That means at the end of the chase round, Jennifer has 105. Michael, 100. Kirsten, 80 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Woo! Good round. Good. All right, listen, now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 FB crime books. Now, take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think double trouble are headed. Now, if you guys think you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, now for our last clue, we go to Reginald Vell Johnson of Acme Family Matters Net. Watch. What's up, Gumshoes? Double Trouble took Fenway Park to a region in South America that runs through Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina. Its name probably comes from a tribal word meaning copper, and here's why. There are copious copper deposits running through the area. Now get Double Trouble before they park the park and depart with the deposits. Okay, thanks, Reg. Guys, name the region, if you will, please. Is it Amazon Basin, the Pampas? or Andes Mountains. Remember the clues that we heard. Includes parts of Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina, and copper deposits. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. This is the final clue this round, so the answers go right down there in front of you. There you go. Nice job, everybody. Kirsten, we're going to start with you. You have 80 crime bucks. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks take you up to 100 if you're right. What'd you say? I said the Andes Mountains. Is exactly right. Nice job, Kirsten. <laughs> Michael, you're smiling. You have 100 crime bucks. How much did you risk? 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say, Michael? I said Andy's Mountains. Is, is exactly right. Nice job, Michael. Takes up to 120. <laughs> Jennifer, you have 105. Before you show us how much you risked, what did you say? I said the Andy's Mountains. So you have the right, you have the right answer. What'd you, what'd you risk? I risked 10 crime bucks. 10 crime bucks. That gives you 115. That means Jennifer and Michael, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. <laughs> Kirsten, listen, you really were coming on strong there towards the end. You've done some great stuff here today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief, you should be very proud of your work here today. Your career as a gumshoe has only begun. And that's why I've assembled this Acme Travel Kit for your next case. Inside, you'll find an atlas, the official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and because an acne agent should always be prepared to search the world and to play basketball, you get this world ball, and my congratulations. Hey, Chief. All right, Gumshoes, listen up. Now it's time for us to go to the Andes Mountains. Come on, Greg. Time's a-wasting. Chief, I just got to go over a couple things. I'll, I'll be right ready. Just hold on a second. Okay, it's time for us to go to the Andes Mountains to try to find Double Trouble and Fenway Park. You guys all ready to go? Yeah? Okay, Jennifer, you'll grab the door. Michael, if you wouldn't mind grabbing my hat, I grab the Chief. We're on our ways to the Andes Mountains. Ways. Three ways. Here we go. Uh, Greg, are you sure you know how to steer this thing? Uh, I thought you knew, Chief. My mistake. Okay, guys, come on. Here we are in the Andes Mountains. Take your positions right here. The chief is with us. She has some very important information she wants to give you. So, listen carefully. Oh, now, hold on, Greg. I want to put on my Andes Mountain cap. Oh, right. Good. There are 15 places in the Andes Mountains where you might find Double Trouble, The Warrant, or Fenway Park. Let's look at a few of them. First, Machu Picchu. Famed lost city of the Inca. They never played baseball here, so if you find a park, it's Fenway. Next, Quito, Ecuador's capital. Debrief that fountain net agent reading the paper. Whisper the code phrase, I jumped rope on the equator just north of town. Watch the waters of Lake Titicaca. 
highest navigable freshwater lake in the world. And while you're in the Andes, drop in on TV legend Mr. Ed. His agents just signed Ed up to co-host the news with Dan Rather. Well, that's your briefing, gumshoes. Now, go climb the Andes and bust those Finway filters double trouble. Thanks, Chief. You guys know the order of this, of course. Loot, warrant, crook. Michael, you're ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Zongo Valley Ice Caves. Zongo Valley Ice Caves. Nothing there, but we're on our way. Jennifer, go ahead. Island of the Sun. Island of the Sun. Nothing there. Michael, Val go ahead. Valley of the Moon. Valley of the Moon. Double trouble, trouble. Nice job. You got double trouble. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Be careful, Michael. Zongo Valley Ice Caves. Zongo Valley Ice Caves. Nice strategy, sir. We'll turn these back around. Jennifer, your turn. Devil's Molar. Devil's Molar. Ballpark. Nice job. You get you got the loot, you get a free turn. Go ahead, Jennifer. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. <laughs> Nothing there. We turn it back around. Of course, the ancient uh, Inca, Inca Empire was there. Go ahead, Michael. Devil's Molar. Devil's Molar. Foul balls. Go ahead, Michael. Central Railway. Uh, uh, a Central wet Railway. Sorry, I couldn't see that one. Nothing there. Jennifer. Devil's Molar. Devil's Molar. Green Monster. Go ahead, Jennifer. Colca Ca Canyon. Uh, Col uh, Colca Canyon. The Warrant. You have the loot, you have the warrant. Do you remember where, do where Double Trouble are? Valley of the Moon. Valley of the Moon. Are they still there? Yeah. Play ball. Woo! Oh, yeah. Come here, Jennifer. Beautiful job. Made it look easy. Now, listen, you got Double Trouble. Now all you have to do is put them in jail, pull them in the chain and do it. Okay, so listen, uh, we're going to talk about your next adventure just a little bit. First off, Michael, you were a great detective, man. You tracked Double Trouble all the way here. We have something very special for you. Chief, you've come so far today. Hop on the trail of Double Trouble until the very end. To reward your detective skills, you get the Acme Travel Kit and also this convenient automatic camera, small enough to slip into your pocket and fast enough to catch even the quickest thieves in the act. Thanks for your help in catching Double Trouble and... Congratulations on a job. Well done. Thanks a lot, Chief. Jennifer was just telling me you thought you were going to lose in the first round. Well, you definitely did not lose in the first round or the second. You're going on to the final round for a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. If you do that, you get the trip. Now, what we want to find out now is where you'd like to go if you get that trip. Here is your fur-lined portfolio. Inside, there's a piece of paper and a pen. You know what to do. Go ahead and do it, buddy. One thing holds true. Have you been there before? Yeah. I have, too. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, now, uh, any idea who this may be? Me either. Hello? Yeah, hold on. It's for you. That Carmen's a party pooper. We've been in jail for 17 seconds already, and she hasn't even visited yet. Look for her in Asia. What'd they say? Asia. Okay, so Jennifer, you and I are going to Asia. Chief, here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Syria. Jordan. Uzbekistan. Tajikistan. Pakistan. India, Sri Lanka, Mongolia, Myanmar, Cambodia, Taiwan, Philippines, Japan. Greg, let's go to the map. Feel good. You know what this is all about, right? You get eight right in 45 seconds, you get the trip. You'll put the marker on the right place, you'll hear this sound. If by chance, though, it's on the wrong place, you'll hear this sound. We're on two times, leave the marker where it is, come back, and we will continue. But you get eight right in 45 seconds, you get the trip. You ready to do this? Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. Come on, Jennifer, let's do this right here. Put a marker in your hand. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. You guys be sure and cheer her on. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on to Aleppo, Syria. 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 Come on. Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Nukas. Try it again. Uzbekistan. Come on back. Philippines. Manila, Philippines. Manila, Philippines. Cheer on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Support Japan. 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 Do it. Yeah. We're about to Mongolia. 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 Yeah. 
in 45 seconds. Give her a big round of applause, folks. I tell you, this is a tough map, but you ran it very, very well. You knew all this stuff on here. But remember, you got the crook. That's what we ask you to do. Chief, what do you say? It can be tough to catch Carmen San Diego, but you derailed double trouble, and that deserves special recognition. That's why we've all chipped in to buy a portable CD player. Now you can listen to this library of music from around the world and to this CD by Rockapella, featuring our theme song. And be sure to listen with pride. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. There, pal. Sleuth. That's a CD, CD player. That's not bad, right? Yeah. Not bad at all. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it, well, she sneaks around the world from India to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filch up from Berlin down to Belize. Take me for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul and stars. We love it. We're going to go right on the road. San Diego. And remember, the crooks in jail, and it's party time, but tomorrow brings another crime. San Diego, All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you.